Hey, welcome back. Today is December 19th, Saturday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets really quickly before diving into Uniswap, Uni, USD charts, and see what has changed since the last time I posted. I'll be sharing with you my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today and possibly uh, applicable to the near future, as well as the short-term price prediction on this market, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me, as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys do want to support me and don't already have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're now giving away four free stocks instead of three upon a successful sign up and a qualifying deposit, and it will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am purely sharing my own speculation opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below, but I will get to them a lot faster that way. Now let's see what exactly is going on in the markets really quickly. I do still see Bitcoin dominance trending upwards with Bitcoin price action itself, possible bearish divergence on both of these symbols on the 4 hour, 6 hour, and 12 hour, depending on the combination that the bearish divergence plays out on these two symbols, it could either lead to, in my opinion, opportunities for altcoins or Bitcoin price action pulling back and possibly taking a lot of the altcoins down with it. Let's see which of these scenarios actually play out. You guys let me know what you think. Now let's take a look into Uniswap, UniUSD, and do a quick recap. The last time we have spoken, I had mentioned that I actually have opened a position in about uh, about the $3.15 level. I do think that the trading view chart right now is kind of lagging, but let's see what exactly is going on now. Seems like it's responsive now. So Uniswap has been moving quite a bit for the past couple of days, and I have actually closed my position because I still recognize that $4 level is still going to be pretty strong resistance. The price action has actually gone up to about $4.25 throughout uh, today and a little bit of yesterday. Now back to below $4 again. So something I'll be looking out for, as I have mentioned, because there were two possible scenarios, even though I think Uniswap is likely to continue higher, but the time it would take for Uniswap to continue higher would depend on what I said on the last post, which is if this formation right here is an inverse head and shoulders pattern, or is it a falling wedge pattern? The falling wedge pattern would give a faster breakout, even though not the highest measured target in my opinion, but a faster breakout. And that measured target of this falling wedge pattern is about $4.87 approximately there so and the criteria i'm actually looking for uh in either differentiating between a falling wedge pattern and an inverse head and shoulders pattern is depending on if we are actually able to uh if the price action is actually able to get closes above the four dollar level meaning at least daily closes daily closes would be the minimum to actually convince me that this is likely to be a falling wedge pattern and will continue higher at a faster pace versus an inverse head and shoulders pattern but we have not gone that daily candle close yet and this daily candle closes in about uh in about two hours and we're still very well underneath the four dollar level if the daily candle actually closes today above this four dollar level or at least in the near future i'll be more convinced that this is heading up to four dollars and 87 cents but there are still going to be some major resistances between the price action now and the measure target. Namely, of course, the $4 FIB level right here, the 0.38 and the 0.5 FIB level as well at about $4.65. And given the target is only a measure target, theoretically, it may or may not be reached. So deal with it realistically. So that is something I'm looking for in order to see if this is actually going to be a falling wedge pattern. But I'm not looking for one of these, however, this is an exception because as you guys can see, there was a daily candle close up here, 
but it did not stay above the $4 level. So the condition is the price action has to stay closed above this $4 level. But something I can actually see as an early indicator, at least on the three-day chart is, as you guys can see here, there has not been any three-day candle closes above this $4 level since we have been going in the uptrend and uh, reversing against this downtrend right here. We have not had any three-day candle closes. So if the price action actually gives a three-day candle close, I do think that is a, uh, it could be a more confidence booster that this is going to be a falling wedge pattern and can actually continue upwards more quickly than as opposed to an inverse head and shoulders pattern. So this is just my analysis of Uniswap today. Let's explore the bullish and bearish case scenario. The bullish case scenario here is for us to actually get a daily candle close or a three-day candle close to be even better and more convincing above the $4 level and stay above that $4 level. Then this would tell me that the measure target here is about $4.87. I think that's what I said. So that is the bullish case scenario. The bearish case scenario, I do also want to point something out is that we do have bearish divergence on the four hour time frame, which is what is what has been signaling this pullback right here. And I do think uh, we still do have not on the six hour. So only the four hour and I think the hourly time frame where I do see possible bearish divergence. So yes, uh, bearish divergence right here. This comparing this high with this high right here. So on the hourly and four hour, let's see when this ends. And if the daily or the three day candle is actually able to close on top of the four hour, uh, the $4 price level, that's what, look, what I'm looking for. Now the bearish case scenario is of course, the price action starts closing daily, at least on, uh, under the $4 level. This would tell me that the breakout is going to be delayed, or this is more likely to be a inverse head and shoulders pattern. In that case, I'm still bullish on Uniswap in the, sh in the near future, but I do think that the breakout is going to be delayed and we're going to spend some more time underneath the $4 level. You guys let me know what you think. Now this concludes my bullish and bearish case scenarios for today for Uniswap. Please let me know if you guys found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I would love to hear them. Hope you guys match your risk carefully. And if you guys would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. I'll see you next time.